Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on energy conservation equation. So, uh, you will have that which is also known as conservation of energy uh, equation. So, uh, you know our energy equation in uh, three dimension. So, uh, uh, if you uh, talk about this uh, equation, so uh, uh, this is uh, energy equation is uh, derived from the uh, first law of thermodynamics. Uh, which states that the uh, rate of uh, change of energy of a fluid particle is equal to the rate of heat addition of to the fluid particle plus rate of work done on uh, the particle. So, as we see this will be uh, rate of increase of energy and that will be because of the heat added which is net rate which is heat added and then net rate of work done on the uh, fluid particle. So, uh, we will talk about uh, these two aspects. So, we will have this will be term that is rho of d by dt if you uh, talk about per unit volume. Then uh, you will have the net rate of work done. So, work done is normally force times uh, velocity component. So, that way we can have uh, the expression for the uh, net rate of work done. Similarly, the for the heat added we will have the conduction keeping in mind. So, based on that Fourier's law of conduction you will have uh, for the element how the uh, heat element is, uh, heat is added and how there will be net the rate of heat added to the par fluid particle for that a term will come. So, we will add them and then we will equate it to the rate of increase of energy and that will be the equation for the energy uh, conservation equation uh, in, in three dimension. So, uh, if you uh, recall our uh, last lecture where we talked about the uh, the term that uh, that was for the force. So in that uh, uh, the term will be multiplied with the velocity component, and that will be the uh, work done. So we will be first talking about the net rate of work done on the uh, the on the fluid particle, and we will be talking about the work done by the forces. So, uh, work done by the forces will be as we know that uh, work done by the force is force into uh, velocity. So, we will have uh, the so we will had uh, the term that is uh, p minus uh, dou p by dou x into half of delta x that will be multiplied by delta y delta z. And uh, similarly, you had uh, the uh, uh, tau x x term. So, tau x x uh, minus half of uh, uh, minus dou of tau x x by dou x into half of delta x. So, all these terms were there uh, while we were uh, uh, you know uh, arriving at uh, that particular term. Now, in that uh, each of these terms will be multiplied with the velocity component u. So, so that will be the work done. So, the, so that term uh, you know if you uh, talk about the uh, work done. Uh, you know uh, in the x direction. So, that will be coming as uh, you know. So, you had a p and uh, you had the term like uh, uh, dou of uh, p you know by dou x and uh, you had. Uh, so, in that uh, you will be multiplying with uh, u. So, p u minus dou of uh, p u by dou x and uh, then you will have here you will have half of delta x. So, and uh, uh, similarly uh, you will have the uh, another term that will was the uh, tau x x term. So, that will be again tau x x term will also be multiplied with the uh, velocity component and uh, on the left hand side you had the tau x x uh, minus dou of tau x x uh, 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 by dou x. So, it will minus tau x x into uh, it will be uh, u and it will be by dou x into half of delta x. 
So, uh, so that uh, that will be the uh, term uh, you know uh, on the uh, uh, east face. Similarly, you go I mean this was on the west face and then you go to the uh, east face. So, you will have uh, minus of uh, you know P u then you have uh, uh, dou of uh, P u by uh, dou x into half delta x. So, that will be coming under the uh, big bracket. Uh, so, this is uh, one term and further you have the tau x x uh, u. So, every where you are multiplying with the velocity to have the uh, expression for the work done. So, and, and dou of uh, tau x x u by dou x or into half delta x. So, and, and this all will be uh, if you see uh, all this uh, Mm, all together if you talk uh, for the whole component that will be multiplied with the uh, term uh, you know delta y delta z. So, um, uh, then uh, you will have uh, the um, uh, uh, other uh, terms also like uh, you had if you so we are talking about the uh, x direction only and we are talking about uh, uh, taking into account all the uh, you know uh, faces. So, uh, talking about the north and uh, south uh, faces. So, you will have uh, again minus of uh, uh, tau y x and uh, u minus dou of uh, tau y x uh, u by dou y into half of delta y. So, um, uh, that will be uh, there uh, one term and then similarly you will have uh, uh, tau y x u plus dou of uh, tau y x u by uh, dou a. So, that will be dou uh, y and uh, uh, this will be into half delta y. So, this will be uh, all multiplied with the term uh, delta x delta z. So, this is for the uh, you know uh, north and south face. Then comes the term for the uh, top and bottom face. So, for that again you will have uh, minus of tau of uh, z x. So, this is z x uh, minus dou of tau. So, this is multiplied with u and uh, then it will have dou of tau z x u uh, divided by uh, dou z. Uh, this will be multiplied with half delta z uh, and uh, then uh, you will have another term for the uh, you know uh, top face. So, you will have uh, uh, dou of uh, so, you will have first the uh, tau z x u plus dou of tau z x u by dou z into half of delta z and then all together it is multiplied with uh, uh, delta x delta y. So, this is uh, the expression uh, which we had seen uh, you know while, while deriving for the x momentum uh, we had uh, got this expression wherever u is there u was not there in that. So, you are multiplying with this uh, velocity term. So, for getting that uh, you know uh, net rate of work done in the x direction you are going to have uh, uh, this equation and uh, in this again uh, you can see that uh, you will have uh, uh, some of the uh, terms getting uh, cancelled and uh, like P u and P u will be cancelling. So, there are many terms which will be cancelled and if you uh, you know uh, if you solve this if you uh, so, you are getting this uh, you know so, you are getting this uh, net rate of work done by these uh, you know uh, surface forces in the x direction. So, that will be uh, dou of uh, u into minus p plus tau x x and uh, then uh, that will be divided by uh, dou x. Similarly, dou of u tau y x by uh, dou y plus dou of u tau z x divided by dou z and uh, that will be uh, multiplied by uh, delta x delta y and delta z. So, that term uh, you know uh, this will be uh, coming out and uh, you are getting this uh, you know uh, net rate of uh, work done uh, you know by these uh, uh, surface forces 
which is acting in the x direction this is uh, uh, defined by uh, these uh, forces. Now, uh, surface stress components are uh, also acting in the y and uh, z direction and they also do work on the uh, fluid. So, you will have those components for the uh, y and also on the uh, z component. So, for that you will have uh, uh, so, this is uh, A. So, you will have uh, another uh, you know uh, net rate of work done that will be. So, this is basically the uh, net rate of work done by surface forces acting in x direction. So, this is uh, in uh, x direction. Now, if you find in uh, y direction, so in y direction again you will have uh, uh, dou of uh, uh, you know uh, v tau. So, it will be p term will go this side. So, it will be dou of uh, v tau uh, y x. So, no this is uh, x y and uh, then divided by uh, uh, you know do x plus uh, in this case you will have the minus p term coming into the uh, second term. So, it will be uh, do of v times uh, minus p plus tau y x. So, uh, and this is uh, tau uh, y y here it will be. So, this is tau x x. So, this will be tau y y uh, divided by uh, do y and uh, similarly you will have uh, do of uh, you know v uh, tau z y divided by do z. So, and that will be uh, multiplied with the volume term that is delta x delta y and delta z. Uh, so, similarly in the z direction um, you can have the expression that is uh, do of uh, do of uh, w tau uh, x z divided by uh, so by do of uh, x plus do of w tau uh, y z by do y plus in this term uh, in the say third term you will have uh, the w term coming so uh, so p term also coming so do of w times uh, you know uh, minus p plus tau z z and divided by do z. So, and then it will be uh, all multiplied with the uh, volume of the element that is delta x delta y uh, delta z. Now, if you uh, look at this, so the, uh, the summation of all these forces uh, you know this work done. So, uh, if you total rate of work done will be the summation of these uh, you know three cases a b and c. So, uh, total rate of work done uh, you know uh, uh, per unit volume on the fluid element uh, that will be uh, you know summation of uh, uh, all these uh, forces. So, if you uh, all these uh, terms in these uh, uh, three equations and then you have to divide it. So, if you have to you have to find the per unit volume in that case this volume term will go. So, you will, once you will add you will have uh, uh, that will be your total rate of uh, work done per unit volume uh, on the uh, fluid particle. Now, that will be uh, consisting of a few terms like uh, you will have one is do of uh, minus of uh, up by do x then uh, vp by do y and uh, you will have uh, minus of do of uh, wp by uh, do z. So, one is that term and another term will be uh, u tau x x by do x u tau y y y x by do y. So, that will be uh, another term. So, you will have uh, uh, you know different terms uh, together. So, the first term which will be segregating will be do of uh, uh, u p by do x with negative sign do of v p by do y with negative sign and do of w p by w z with negative sign. So, if you sum these uh, three terms. So, you will have uh, uh, you know uh, term. So, uh, this term comes as minus of dou of u p by dou x uh, 
uh, minus so minus if you take outside so plus do of uh, uh, vp by do y plus do of uh, uh, wp by do z so uh, you can write uh, this as uh, minus of divergence of rho u so that way uh, this is uh, now one part of this uh, summation of the term now next part uh, so uh, uh, so the, the here we have taken the pressure term uh, uh, collected together so so this is uh, all the term which is having the uh, pressure now uh, if you talk about the total you know uh, uh, rate of work done taking all the terms so that becomes uh, minus of dive of rho u plus now if you uh, recall these uh, terms like dou of uh, u tau x x by dou x dou of u tau y x by y dou y so that will come so you will have uh, uh, dou of uh, u tau x x by dou x plus dou of u tau y x by dou y plus dou of u tau z x by dou z. So, that was for the, uh, uh, the first term. Similarly, you have another uh, uh, you know three terms coming up. So, that will be taking v dou of v tau uh, you know x y by dou x. Similarly, dou of v tau uh, y y so that will be by do y plus do of uh, v tau uh, z y so uh, that will be uh, by do z so that is uh, the next three term and then the last three terms uh, will be um, you know uh, so this is uh, uh, this is this term and plus this will so that term come came here and then uh, you have uh, uh, do of uh, w tau uh, x z divided by dou x plus dou of w term y z uh, divided by dou y plus dou of w tau z z divided by dou z. So, this is uh, you know all together all these uh, this is the total uh, uh, rate of work done that will be uh, you know uh, uh, by on the uh, fluid particle uh, by uh, all the stresses. So, by the surface stresses that is uh, uh, coming you know uh, here. So, per unit volume we have calculated. So, we have removed this term delta x delta y uh, delta z. So, uh, if you look at uh, the term. So, we have uh, already you know we have seen. So, this term is net rate of work done on fluid particle. This we have uh, achieved uh, you know here. Now, we are uh, uh, going to find the uh, value of the uh, energy flux due to heat conduction. So, if you are trying to find the uh, energy flux due to heat conduction, so uh, for that uh, we will have the uh, heat flux vector Q will be uh, taken and uh, uh, if you take this uh, heat flux vector q so it has uh, uh, three components qx qy and uh, qz so uh, you know uh, and we are going to have uh, the consideration of all these uh, three components qx qy and qz and uh, we are going to have the net uh, you know rate of uh, uh, heat transfer to the fluid particle uh, because of the conduction because of the heat flow in the uh, x direction. So, that will be uh, given by the difference between the rate of heat input. So, you have uh, the uh, rate of heat input. So, from the west face as well as the from the uh, east face. So, you have to have the uh, difference uh, from uh, of the heat uh, you know uh, due to the heat flow uh, uh, in x direction. So, we have to take that difference on these two faces. So, if you take that it will be q x minus delta of uh, dou of q x by dou x into half delta x and uh, that will be uh, uh, you know and it will be uh, uh, subtracted with uh, q x plus dou of uh, 
uh, qx by delta x into half of uh, delta x. So, uh, that is your uh, uh, so that will be uh, you know uh, that will be your heat net rate of heat added. So, you are adding and then something is going out. So, net rate of heat added will be this minus uh, the the amount which is uh, uh, going out. So, uh, you know we will have the difference of uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, this minus uh, this and uh, that will be multiplied with the area on which it is uh, acting. So, if you talk about the uh, you know uh, west face. So, uh, you know uh, west and east face into uh, consideration. So, in that case your uh, rate of heat loss uh, across the phase E that will be uh, q x minus dou of q x by uh, dou x into half delta x. So, that will be uh, uh, from the east face and uh, from the west and then uh, going towards the uh, east. So, you will have uh, q x plus dou of q x by dou x into half of delta x and uh, all together it is uh, multiplied with the area that is uh, uh, delta y delta z. So, if you take this value that becomes equal to minus dou of q x by dou x into delta x delta y delta z. So, this is uh, you know uh, net rate of heat transfer in the x direction. Similarly, you will have uh, the uh, net rate of heat transfer in the uh, y direction as well as in the z direction. So, in y direction it will be uh, minus of uh, uh, dou of uh, uh, q y by dou y into uh, delta x delta y delta z and uh, in z direction you will have uh, um, minus of dou q z by dou z into delta x delta y delta z. Now, uh, the uh, total uh, you know uh, rate of heat added to the fluid particle will be the sum of uh, these three uh, terms and uh, if you want to have the per unit volume then you have to remove this uh, volume term. So, uh, so total rate of heat added to fluid particle per unit volume. Now, that will be addition of these three and you have to divide it by uh, volume. So, you will have uh, minus of dou q x by dou x. Similarly, you have minus of dou q y by dou y minus of dou q z by dou z and this can be uh, written as minus of dive q. So, uh, this is the minus of uh, dive q. Now, uh, we will use the uh, Fourier's law of heat conduction and it will be uh, relating that heat flux to the temperature uh, you know uh, gradient. So, if you use the uh, Fourier's law of uh, heat conduction, so that can be that writes as q x equal to minus of uh, k times uh, dou t by dou x. Similarly, uh, we write q y will be minus of k times dou t by dou y and uh, q z will be writing as minus of k times uh, dou t by dou z. So, uh, you can uh, write uh, this uh, uh, q as uh, minus of k grad t. So, normally you write q as minus of k uh, grad t. So, uh, if you see minus, so this term becomes minus of dive of uh, k grad t. So, minus of dive q, uh, so minus of dive q uh, becomes minus of dive of q becomes uh, k grad t and, and this minus term comes here. So, it will be coming uh, cancelling. So, you will have dive of k grad t. So, that is how uh, you know this uh, minus of dive q can be written as dive of k grad t and now uh, you will get the energy equation. So, uh, now if we have to uh, find the uh, uh, expression for the energy equation. Now, uh, we have to uh, 
uh, equate this uh, with the term. So, as we see you had uh, this is the rate of increase of energy of the uh, fluid particle and that will be equated to the uh, addition of these two terms and uh, uh, we have to define this uh, energy term. So, that is your specific energy uh, E of the fluid and it will be uh, the uh, summation of. Uh, so, if you talk about the specific energy E of the fluid. So, uh, that will be basically uh, summation of uh, the uh, internal energy or thermal energy uh, you know that is uh, uh, so uh, and, and then uh, you will be uh, adding uh, so uh, that is your uh, 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 half of u square plus v square plus uh, uh, w square and also uh, you will have the uh, gravitational potential energy. So, this term gravitational potential energy that we normally take into account in the right hand side and we take it as the uh, source term. So, uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, this will be the uh, uh, sum of I uh, plus you have the uh, kinetic energy and all that and uh, then you will have the gravitational P. So, uh, what we do uh, now we are equating uh, these uh, uh, equation uh, gravitational uh, force will be uh, taken as uh, the uh, source term on the right hand side and uh, you, you are adding uh, the uh, two terms on the right hand side. So, your equation becomes uh, rho uh, d e by d t. So, that is uh, rate of change of that uh, uh, you know uh, that is what uh, rate of uh, increase of the energy of the uh, fluid particle. Now, uh, that uh, we will be uh, taking. So, uh, and you will have the uh, uh, source term uh, uh, coming out uh, um, on the right hand side that is uh, uh, S e and E will be basically internal energy I plus uh, uh, half into U square plus uh, uh, v, uh, v square plus W square. So, uh, so you will have uh, the uh, that is internal energy that is I and, and also you will have the sum of uh, the uh, kinetic energy. So, that also term will come here. So, these terms will come in this term and, and, and in this side you will have uh, the gravitational potential energy. Now, uh, this rho d by d t uh, that will be the summation of uh, you know these terms. So, you will have this is the thermal term and uh, this side you had got the uh, these uh, work done. So, uh, so you will have the uh, first term as dive of uh, you know uh, P u and then uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, the uh, terms. So, you will have uh, dou of uh, u tau x x by dou x plus dou of u tau y x by dou y plus dou of u tau z x by dou z. Similarly, uh, for the uh, y component you have dou, dou of uh, v tau x y by dou x plus dou of v tau x y. So, that will be y y by dou y plus dou of v tau uh, z y by dou z and then you will have dou of uh, w tau x z by dou x plus dou of w tau y z by dou y plus dou of w tau z z by dou z. So, that will be uh, the term which we had uh, uh, earlier uh, uh, you know derived. Then uh, you will have the terms uh, uh, that is for the uh, thermal term that is energy term that was uh, dive of uh, k grad t and uh, then you will have the source term. So, uh, that is uh, uh, you know for the uh, uh, other type of uh, you know energy that is gravitational potential energy we take this term as the uh, the source term. So, we are taking that uh, uh, so 
on the uh, right hand side. So, this is the uh, energy equation you know uh, which is uh, 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 which is to be used when uh, and which is used uh, for solving and for getting the you know requisite uh, you know outputs uh, of interest which we are uh, you know uh, interested in while solving the uh, problem. Uh, we can have uh, uh, even uh, the uh, we can take it for uh, rho of uh, you know uh, you can take the internal energy and the kinetic energy together also I mean uh, we can separate it. So, rho of d of half of u square plus v square plus w square. So, so that way now uh, and rho of d i by d t. So, internal energy also for that also there may be uh, terms taken together, but then uh, uh, we should be uh, knowing about uh, these terms uh, which will be used uh, in our coming lectures. Thank you very much.